Hey guys, I think one of the most important tools for you to carry on you every single day is a flashlight. And I've been carrying a flashlight for years and years now. Um, there are a lot of good manufacturers out there, but really briefly, I just wanted to make a video on a few things that I found to be very important um, in an EDC light. And again, this is just my preference. Of course, everyone's going to have different preferences, but in the event that you're watching this video and perhaps you're even looking for a light uh, to purchase, for yourself, for everyday carry, it might be something worth considering for you. Um, first things first, one of the very important things for me is the battery that the light takes. Uh, a lot of people are trying nowadays are trying to go with really, really small lights, and that's awesome. Um, a lot of those run, for example, on CR123 batteries, which is about half the length of an 18650 cell, which is what my lights primarily run on are 18650s. I'm a fan of capacity over size, so I like to know that my lights will last a charge of my 18650 cells will last me for a long time. Also, I like to use a single tool for as many purposes as possible. I'm one of those guys that carries a flashlight and also believes that if it's got a crenellated bezel on it, if it's made of the right metal, um, that it can be used as a weapon too if you find yourself in an unfortunate situation. So being that it, this particular light is an 18650 cell light, uh, anything that I've ever used with an 18650 cell has given me, and I don't have big hands by any standards, but just enough of a purchase on the light to really be able to hit somebody with it if I needed to and really cause some damage if I needed to. Um, but going really quickly into it, some things that I found, and I use a light every single day. I don't just carry a light, I use a light every single day. Uh, certain things that I've really grown accustomed to, uh, tail cap, switch on and switch off. For me, that's a must. I like having very quick, very immediate access from the back of the light. Um, Having said that, something that goes hand in hand with that is having a really nice, sturdy, deep carry pocket clip. Um, when you carry it out, they, they, you'll find that lights actually have this clip mounted both ways. Some of them have it with the lens and the LED pointed upwards. Some have it in your pocket with the tail cap pointed upwards. For me, I only have ever ran lights that have the tail cap pointed upward. Um, in the past, depending on what light I'm carrying, sometimes if I'm wearing a denim or a jean or something, for example, and I sit down, it may cause an accidental... Um, uh, turn on, which is something maybe worth considering for you. For me, I typically catch it and turn the light off. With this light, it hasn't really been a problem so much because it's got a pretty low profile tail cap switch on it. But the pocket clip is very important. I want it to be deep carry, um, and I want it to have a very, very, very solid retention on it. And this particular light has it. By the way, this is an Olight M1X Striker. Um, also, something that's very important for me, as I mentioned before, I want to be able to use my EDC light uh, for multiple purposes, one of those being defensive if I have to, God forbid, the crenellated bezel. Uh, the M1X, this is a Olight M1X striker again. Uh, the M1X comes with a really, really aggressive bezel at the end. Um, it's got really deep rivets in it, so you could really potentially cause some serious damage with this light if you were hit by this light. Um, it has to have multiple outputs, and one of those outputs has to be moonlight mode. A moonlight mode or a firefly mode, depending on which brand light you're looking for, uh, is typically one or less, one or fewer lumens, and it, pr it produces a beam so light that under any kind of light, you probably can't even tell that the light's on. Um, I want quick, immediate access to moonlight mode. Um, at the same time, I want a user interface that permits me to get to the high output and even a strobe output. Uh, this particular light has, gives me immediate access to all three. So I've got the moonlight mode, which you probably can't even tell is on right now. Then I can go straight into the thousand lumen high mode, and I can also go straight into the high intensity strobe mode as well, which is pretty disorienting. Um, as well as a side cap on this light, which I found to be very useful. Um, all of my EDC lights have always had side caps as well, because there are multiple different modes outside of the moonlight mode and the high output mode or the turbo mode, again, depending on which light that you have. Um, but I, I also like having a, a little um, side switch so that I can filter through whatever settings that I want. Um, for me, particular lights like this one, the side switch is so small, I kind of wish that it was rubberized and it was a bit bigger so it was easier to find. So what I've always done on my EDC lights is I've always turned uh, my little uh, pocket clip so that all I have to do is run my finger down it to find uh, the mode change. Um, a lot of guys, including myself, have spent a lot of time looking up lights, judging a light by the amount of lumens it puts out. Uh, don't waste your time doing that, guys. Find a light that's comfortable for you, that is the right weight, that runs on the cell that you want it to, that serves the purpose that you want it to serve. Uh, one thing, again, that I'm, I would stress that I think most people will find very useful is uh, try finding a light this time around that does have a moonlight mode. Because 
most every light gets ridiculously bright nowadays. What's difficult to find are the lights that have the very low uh, outputs, in which case I use those every single day. So I hope this video was helpful for y'all. Um, if, if there are any videos or any lights, rather, I'm sorry, that you'd want me to review for you, uh, I have some in my collection. Just let me know, and I'd be happy to do so. Thanks a lot. Stay safe, guys.